Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, and fans. Removal. Disconnect the power connector cable from the connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel cable ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the hard disk drive ZIF connector and disconnect the hard disk drive ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the USB board ribbon cable from the system board. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the five 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Remove the two 2mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the right edge of the system board off of the alignment pins and slide the external connectors out from the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the system board. Note, before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install onto the new system board. Memory boards, heat sink, and solid state drive. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important. After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings.